Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the movie trivia showdown. What an interesting way to do things it has been. But man, are we doing it? I'm Christian Harloff, joined, as always, by Baby Carrots, Mark Ellis. Mark, how you doing? Oh, Christian, I'm great. I'm adorned by all these decorations that I've acquired over a very long career. And you, look at all the beers that you still have yet to drink in your fridge. What do you? What's the special occasion you're waiting for? Waiting for somebody to come over and fix the fridge. Mark, it is going to be a very, very fun time here at the Movie Trivia Showdown because, yes, we still have a few more matches that will be airing until around May 15th. But we were like, well, wait a minute. The patrons, they're going to need some stuff. The fans, they're going to need some stuff. So we put out the call to all the Movie Trivia Schmodown competitors and said, hey, we're going to do some fun exhibition. Who's in? And I was waiting. I was going to say, I'm going to wait a couple of weeks before I get something back. Within hours, I got people responding. They wanted in. And Mark, I have to tell you, one of the ones that I put together that I was very excited about to see if I could get was the championship battle between all of the current champions. And we have that today. It's the championship four-way, ladies and gentlemen. We know that times are tough all over right now. You're keeping your social distance. You can't really be around everybody physically, but you get to wrap your arms around this Schmodown community and join us virtually for one of the craziest championship matches that we've ever seen because it's a three-round match of the four current reigning champions. And Christian, I have a feeling chaos is going to ensue. There's a cowboy. There's a guy that's dangerous. There's a guy from a galaxy far, far away. And there's a guy who wears a hoodie and smash. Things. Well, it was always the question, right? It's like if these, if all the champions played one another, who would win? Who would come out on top, right? And the other question that people had was, well, wait a minute, if you're going to put the Star Wars champion and the Inner Geekdom champion against the singles and the teams champions, well, then clearly the Inner Geekdom and the Star Wars guys are going to be at a disadvantage. Oh, 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 not necessarily. The writers were very aware of who was competing, so you mm -hmm. might see a hodgepodge of a lot of different questions that those particular competitors might be at the advantage you don't know what you're going to see in this but you're absolutely right but another thing is yes we have the singles champion we have the inner geekdom champion we have the star wars champion the team's champions dan merle and john roca are formal rivals and we get to see them go at it again here in this exhibition match it's pretty exciting I mean, first of all, we don't get to use the term hodgepodge enough. So thanks for putting that back into the lexicon. So many questions will be answered. The first question, will Christian run a lint roller over that awful Yankees hat? The answer is no. It's just as dusty as it ever was. But I pressed this just for today's match, and I'm just about ready to meet our competitors. Christian, you know that they've been waiting in the queue for days now. They, This is what people do during the quarantine, is they just get into a stream, and they sit there, and they practice, and they rehearse what questions they could possibly get, and now it's all on the line. Oh, ho, ho, contraire. Once again, you don't think that our wonderful, incredible editor, Nerd Chronic, didn't have something to put together for this match? You're wrong, baby character. Here we go. A championship four-way, meaning the four of our current champions, Alex Damon, John Roca, Dan Merle, and Smats will all go head-to-head -head in an exhibition match. A champion don't need any introductions. A fighter don't know any limitations. I'm here to claim my title now. I'm here, the king that wears the crown. You better back down. You better back down. I'm the greatest of all. So there we go. There's the hype. Everything that we see, everything that we want, the four champions of the division right now are going to go head to head to head to head. And I'm ready to get going. Mark, give us the tail of the tape. What do we got on our competitors? 
So for Dangerous Dan Merle, he loves himself. Spielberg movies, he's very good at classics as well. John Roca, you know he loves his biopics and his westerns. For Kevin Smets, he is great at Marvel movies, at DC movies, and shopping at Hot Topic. And Alex Damon, I, I'm not sure what his specialty is. Christian, do you have any insight on that? I think it's something to do with Pauly Shore movies. Star Trek. Star Trek, right, right, right. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually is pretty good to start. He's really good at Crawl. He knows a lot about the movie Crawl. Well, enough about you, because I've had it enough about you. So let's <laughs> let's get into this. You ready to get going? Yeah, I, if you even care anymore, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing first. He is the reigning movie trivia schmodown, Star Wars champion of the world, Alex the Demon Damon. There he is. Alex, how you doing, man? It's great. Yeah. It's harder to do an entrance like this. Right? I know. It's, it's Well, look at that. I like the setup you got back there. Baby Yoda, you're excited. You Look, you've already made your IG debut. You know, you're going up against the IG champ here today. You're going up against probably the greatest player of all time in Dan Merle and one of the other greatest players of all time in John Roca. How you feeling? I mean, I'm ready to go. I, I, I don't know how you guys are planning on doing round two. I just wanted to throw an idea out there. I okay. made a wheel. I made a wheel that we could use if you wanted to. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. With There's all kinds of Star Wars movies on there. Sure. Be, don't be surprised, though. I wouldn't, I, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if both Dan and and Smets and Roka at this point all know Star Wars pretty damn well. <laughs> all right. So the Star Wars champion is in the room, and his opponent, he is the reigning movie trivia schmodown in a geekdom champion of the world, Kevin the Smasher Smets. There he is. There's the Smasher. There he is. Oh, look at How you guys doing? Look at that pretty belt. I like that belt. How you doing, Smash? Gorgeous belt. Doing good, man. I'm on my lunch break from the dungeon, so usually I play Grand Theft Auto, but Kaiser's like, why don't you go play with the big boy? So here we go. I got the uh, right next to me here, the demon, who's on his way to be one of the greatest ever. And then we have two, arguably the greatest ever uh, in the movie trivia showdown. So it's a tall order, but I'll never say no to a challenge. So. I'm excited, uh, I'm excited. Too, man. I'm excited <laughs> because both Alex and listen, man, Alex had a nice showing in, in Atlanta. You never know with a couple, a couple more wins there. He might be playing up against you for that shiny belt. And there's another person who's going to be making a run potentially in that, uh, for that belt in the inner geekdom division. That's about to show up pretty soon here, but your opponent, he is the former two time movie trivia schmodown champion of the world and the reigning Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Champion, The Outlaw John Roca. Look at there he is. What's up, everybody? How's it going? What kind of cheesy guy brings his belt to the match? Uh, hey, pal, it's not going to matter. That's how you put it. That's how you display it right there. Not sitting on some lonely table all the way in the back. This is how it's done. I'm ready to take you on, Smasher and Demon. You know I want that ass. Okay, so <laughs> if I may, uh, John Roker is the only person who's actually taken his belt onto a stand-up comedy stage. So, <laughs> belts have been in a lot of different places. Let's not judge our belt placement, gentlemen. I'm just, I'm just glad you wore a velvet jacket over that basketball shirt. Respect. I got to see that hair. Look at that hair. I love it. Did you take the team's championship into Atlanta? Is that when you took it? No, no, no. When we did a stand-up, uh, we did it. Remember when we did it over in in Los Angeles? I took it up on stage on the Globos, on those Globos. You, you oh. called me a nerd when I brought it up on stage when I was accepting an award. So I can't no. win with you. Well, no, <laughs> no you can't. You All might right. win today, though. Well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to get going. But first, their final opponent. He is the reigning team's champion and the reigning movie trivia schmodown four-time singles champion of the world, Dangerous Dan Merle. There he is. The champ is here, Dangerous Dan Merle. Dan, how you feeling? Guys, listen, I know people are intimidated to play me in front of a live crowd, but this is ridiculous. No crowd? <laughs> we have to go no crowd now? No crowd. And the first of its kind, once again, this is going to be a very interesting match. I'm going to see how this, how these things look up. Well, that doesn't look very good. I guess, well, I guess, to, no, I don't want to put Ellis over there. Um, now, oh, you can put me wherever, Bubba. 
Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. All right. So our competitors are here. We have the Star Wars champion, the Inner Geekdom champion, the team champion, the singles champion. We are ready to battle Mark rules of round number one for this exhibition match. Ooh, let me dust off the old rule shoulders here. In round number one of this championship match, there are 10 questions from 10 different corners of movie trivia, Schmodown know-how. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. As soon as Christian or I ask the question, please, whatever apparatus you have to write, use that to write onto whatever sort of paper, whiteboard, what have you, in order for us, the audience, to be able to see it. So as soon as we address you by name to reveal your answer, please show what you wrote down at the same time you verbalize your answer into the ether. We'll be able to hear it. And then that point will go to you if you get the question correct. You also each have three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of this three round match. You also each have one challenge to be used at any time. Uh, don't have your managers come to my place personally. Just go ahead and issue the challenge yourself. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, we ask Alex Damon, are you ready? I'm ready. Kevin Smets. Ready. John Roca. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm ready. And Dan Merle. Let's do this. Then let's get ready to schmodown. All right. Round number one. Question number one. Gentlemen, here we go. Your first question in the realm of action adventure. Who stars as a hitman in 2016's The Accountant? Oh boy, I remember seeing that with you in the theater, Christian. You want to guess what we uh, what, what we schmoed that movie? I think I schmoed it pretty pretty normal. I think I think it was fresh, but not Five, like super fresh. Four, three, like three point two, two, one, and we start with Alex Damon. Is it Ben Affleck? That's correct. And we get two snets. Ben Affleck. Yes. John Roca. Ben Affleck. And Dan. Ben Affleck. All right. So here we go. Making oh, flashcards, Dan. <laughs> it's it's uh, a multitasking. Yeah. Okay. About to enter question number two. Everybody has their own sort of writing utensil and writing pad. Well, John Roca going with the controversial canary pad. Haven't seen one of those in a minute. So. Your next question is in the world of Marvel movies. And the question is, who directed X-Men First Class? Oh, I I, I got to search my phone, Christian. I might still have the voicemail you left me because you saw this movie before I did and you were gushing about it. Fan flipping onto my phone. Four, three, I don't know if I have this one. two, one. Pens down, please. We start with the Smasher. Matthew Vaughn. Yes, John uh, Rupert. Yeah, nope, nope. Brian Singer, mm -hmm. sorry. All right, uh, Dan. Matthew Vaughn. And Alex? I went Matt Reeves. Alex didn't have it. It's only the Smasher and Ken. Ken, excuse me, I don't know who Ken is. Smasher and Dan get that one. So here we go. Question number three. Question number three. This is for dramas. Who stars as high school basketball coach Norman Dale in 1986's Hoosiers? Um, that movie question of your life, Mark. takes place before the advent of the three-point shot. So it's a very tough movie for me to watch. I understand. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with John Roca. Yep, Gene Hackman. Yes, sir. Dan Merle. Hackman. Yes, Damon. Gene Hackman. Yes, and Smith. Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman it is. So now we have both Smets and Merle still perfect so far, but Damon and Roca pick up a point there. All right, Mark. All right, your next one is in the topic. Uh, sorry, Alex, I got to do this. In the world of Star Wars. Oh. So you, you may want to sit this one out. Um, you may not rely on the knowledge of your 50-year-old baby sitting on your right shoulder. Um, <laughs> he can't speak yet. <laughs> the question in the world of Star Wars is, in what year was the all-time classic Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones released. It's really fun to be able to see here. It's like one of those things like to watch these floor champ go at it. It's really interesting and fun. I like Roka's. Roka has such a nice ring light. He looks whiter than I do. True. Four, three, I don't know. two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with Dan Merle. 2002. That's it. Alec? 2002. Yeah, Smets. 
2002. And John? Thank Jesus. 2002. 2002. Roque gets it. Oh my gosh. Roque gets it. Wow. So, it's so funny. Even though it's fun, you can still tell how competitive these guys are. <laughs> oh, <you're so> <laughs> I didn't have enough time to study. Really. Oh, right. You don't need to study. Get out of here. All right. Fantasy sci fi. Fantasy sci fi. Who directed 2019's Aladdin? I still have not seen this movie, Christian. Yay yeah, or nay for a grown boy, Mark Ellis. Uh, yeah, I, I dug it, man. I, and I also liked it because I got a chance to see it with my daughter who really enjoyed it. I thought it was a nice adaptation. Five. Oh, I didn't know you had a daughter. Yeah. Four. Three. Two. I was going to say four daughters. One. Uh, uh, Alex Damon. Guy Ritchie. Yes. And Smets. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. Misses his first one. John. Wow. Uh, Guy Ritchie. Oh, and look at that. Picking up off of Smets there. And Dan. Guy Ritchie. And Dan takes the lead here, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have our next question here. Up right. Up. Dan is the only perfect competitor left, and we're halfway through round number one. Your sixth question comes in the world of comedies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. What classic comedy involves a high school principal named Ed Rooney? Yes. Um, I, I, it, it's, it's a weird thing, Christian, because I love this performer, but then, you know, there's, there's other stuff. It's, yeah. It's not Four, so three, two. Dancing around. It. One. Hands down. And we start with, uh, Kevin Smith. It's not a uh, breakfast club. No. Uh, John Roca. Do you want some gummies? They've been in my pocket. They're nice and warm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, that's man. right. Now we got, uh, so Dan for the perfect game. Really? I want you in front of the school in 15 minutes. Perfect round there so far for Dan and Alex. I have no quote, but Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Alex <laughs> Damon holding in there. So now Dan Merle on only Dan Merle will get a bonus question. Oh, no, just, that is incorrect. Yeah. Christian, are you going back to, to season one of the Schmodown? No, six. So for six questions. I'll take it. Sorry, edit that out, Eric. Yeah, I don't know why I saw it. Sorry about that. Eric, if you edit that out, we're, you and I are done. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you know what? It's exhibition keeping. Um, that's fine. All right, so Dan does not have a perfect round yet. But we are now getting to question number seven. Now we're getting to question number seven. Just ask the questions, guy. Thank you. DC movies. What DC film is known for the line, where does he get those wonderful toys? Best toy you ever had growing up, Christian. What was the what was like the the marquee toy that you had that you were so, you were the kid on the block that had this toy? Uh, I had an animal Muppet. It was a really life size animal Muppet. Five. You Muppet. Four. I had Castle Grayskull. Oh, that's good too. Two, two, one. Pens down and Alex Damon. Uh, Batman. Yes. Uh, all right. So, uh, Kevin Smith. Batman. Yes. Uh, Roka. Batman. Yep. And Dan. Batman 1989. Batman. Yes. All right. So now we get to question number eight. And if Dan hits it, he will have a perfect round. Yeah, but then he still has to have two more questions on top of that. Yeah, it's 10 two questions. <laughs> 10 questions in, in round one. That's what Mark yeah. said. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Yes, it is, Dad. We uh, we're having some fun here because it's the exhibition again. What is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. <laughs> no sleep. Two kids <laughs> and dealing with you. Yeah. Fair enough. That's Christian, if you're, uh, Christian, your goggles are fogging up a little bit. True. Uh, I'll ask the next question. And this is in the world of Middle Earth. Oh, Jesus. And the, the question is, what actor plays the role of Samwise Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings film? I love hearing the scribbling sound effects. Yeah, yeah, really, I, I, I hope we pick those up. And five, four, three, two, one. And we start with uh, Smith. Sean Aston. Yes, and Roka. Sean Aston. Yep, Dan Merle. Sean Aston. And Alex Damon. Sean Aston. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah. Now we get to question number nine. Apparently, we have one question left after this. <laughs> what 1988 category category oh animated okay animated what 1988 animated film follows a young group of dinosaurs 
named Sarah, Petrie, Ducky, Spike. Hey, Christian, currently Dan Merle has eight points. Perfect round. Alex and John have seven apiece, and Kevin Smets pulling up the rear, but still with a solid six points to his name. Five. I do not have this one. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands down. Cursing Renegade. <laughs> is it the land that time forgot? Ooh, no, um, it is not. Uh, Dan? It's a heartbreaker. It's the land before time. Oh, that's what it is. Damn. Is correct. Uh, Alex Damon? The land before time. Yes. And Kevin Smith? The land before time. Wow, Damn. look at that. Catching up. Big miss there by Roca as we yeah. find ourselves to our next question, our final question here, Mark. Yeah, and uh, it's... It's a real downer because the category is the Wizarding World, which should be full of hope, but this question is about a, one of the crappy prequels. Um, who portrays Percival Graves, a high-ranking auror and director of magical security for MACUSA in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? That was a, that was, normally you're pretty good at your reads. That read was stinky. What in God's name is MACUSA? Don't worry about it. It's gonna Macusa? Makuza. Five. Four. <laughs> three. I'll call you later and tell you about it. Two. One. Pens down. Pens down, please. And we start with Dan Merle. Uh, I haven't I haven't boned up enough. It's Colin Farrell. I don't think it is. That is right. correct. Perfect yeah. round. Yeah, nice. Way to go, Dan. Now we get Alex. Colin Farrell. Yes. Kevin Smets. Colin Farrell. And John. Colin Farrell. So Dan hits it. Dan hit all 10 questions here. Good job, Dan. Dan. Gets himself 10 points. 10 points. So only Dan. Dan, you don't have to write this down. This is just for you. Just for you. Here's your question. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Bonus question here. Which horror franchise had the installments, the Mark ones, and the Ghost Dimension? Paranormal Activity. For one more point. Dan Merle, 11 points here. 11 points. So, Mark, give me a uh, – what is the score at the moment? So currently, Christian, uh, Dan Merle, because he got, by your count, three perfect games. After <laughs> <laughs> he has 11 points. Uh, yeah. Trailing by two is Alex Damon with nine points. Just one off a perfect round number one. John Roca and Kevin Smets both have eight points. So everybody, you may think that they would be rusty. It's an exhibition match. They've been quarantined for some time. These gentlemen have been doing their due studying, Christian. That's right. So, Mark, we're getting to round number two here. How does it work? I'm glad you asked, Christian, because round number two, it works like a normal round number two in that you're going to have categories that are selected. Uh, I will either pull it out of the hat or we'll have an electronic wheel. or that, That's more Christian territory. The bottom line is once you settle on a category, you're going to have four questions that are asked to you and only you. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is stealing in round number two. Here's how a steal works in a four-way championship match is that if you miss the question, then everybody else is going to write down their best attempt at the answer on their whiteboard and they can steal the answer should it come to that. So keep in mind, if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one. So Dan, um, everybody still has all their challenges and all their JTE rules. Dan, you have 11 points due to your perfect game and your knowledge of the Paranormal Activity franchise. Would you like to go first in round number two or would you like to defer to G Alex Damon? <laughs> G Alex Damon? Um, <laughs> uh, I, will, uh, I, will def I will defer to Alex Damon. Now, Alex, you can also defer to, uh, because Roca has the higher stature at the moment, uh, you can defer to Roca if you want. Are we allowed to know what's on the wheel? You can know. Can if you want. Absolutely. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. In no particular order, the round two categories on the wheel are MCU, Action Adventure, 2000s, Harry Potter, Comedies, Oscars, Middle Earth, Biopics, Star Wars, and Sport. Really saved Star Wars for the end there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll spin. I'll go for it. Spin. All right. So, Mark, how's that? Okay, go? gentlemen, I need you to select for your spin a number between 1 and 10. It is generated at random, but don't worry. I have the algorithm. Alex, what is your number? Five. You have selected, you don't have to laugh this time, but you have selected comedies. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll spin again. 
All right. And what is your next number? Three. <laughs> Wise move, my man. You spun Star Wars. Oh, geez, come on. <laughs> come on. Wow. It's true. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. It's true. It's true. Okay, question real quick. Is comedy still five or do you reset that? No, no. It, it, I, I reset it myself every time. So Great. you are right. never sure what one to guess. All right. So, guys, you got, if you Damn. if you want to try to steal or if you want to take a nap, either one is, is yeah. fine. I got to go to the restroom. I'll be back in like five minutes. <laughs> so, we got, uh, so it's what? It's four questions here. Here we go. Alex, you know the rules. Two points if you don't go to multiple choice. Here we go. First question for you. Kenny Baker played R2-D2 and also played what type of alien in the franchise as well? An Ewok. Yes. Woo. All right. That's a, that's a tougher Star Wars question. Not for him. All right. Question two. Mm. Which popular character was portrayed by the actors Jeremy Bullock and Daniel Logan? Boba Fett. That's right. Two more points. Okay. In Attack of the Clones, during the speeder chase on Coruscant, what does Obi-Wan call Anakin's style of flying? Suicide. Yes. Point from Alex Damon. And finally, this. Oops. Last question. In Solo, a Star Wars story, Kira has a conversation with the hologram of which famous character? Darth Maul. Spoiler! For two more points. All right, so perfect round there to no one's surprise for <laughs> Alex Damon. All right, so that was what? Uh, eight points to his existing nine, so he has 17 now. Yeah, Christian, I, I'll be honest with you. I already had given Alex the eight points on my scoreboard. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we bounce back to Dan if he wants it. Dan, do you want the category or do you want to defer to John? Uh, I'm looking here at these categories as I as, as best I remember them. You can ask for a repeat of what what's I give you a repeat of the categories, please. Yes. They are in no particular order. Sports, comedies, Middle Earth, Biopics, MCU, Action Adventure, Harry Potter, Oscars, and two thousands. Star Wars was the tenth, but because it was already spun, that is now off the board. Um I I, I will defer once again. Let's see what All happens right. after this. All right, John, you, yeah. you can do the same thing. You can either defer to uh, Smets or you can go. Yeah, let's defer to the Smasher. All right, so Kevin, you have to go here. You have nine categories to pick from. Please pick uh, from one to nine. Uh, I would like uh, Harry Potter, which is number seven. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually not correct. No. Uh, you have spun the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm not going to take a chance. I'll go with it. Roll with it. All sure. right. Okay, Mark. All right, the MCU it is, and the MCU. Uh, Kevin, this stands for Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay. <laughs> and your first question. What was the first film released in Marvel's Phase 3? Captain America Civil War. That is incorrect. So for a two-point steal, I need three. all uh, the other three competitors wait, to write down their best attempt, and then Christian's going to ask you by wait name. Wait, what did, what, did, what did he say? Captain America Civil War. Oh, the... oh, yeah, sorry, you're right. right. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, questioning myself. He, he was right. <laughs> To be honest, Kevin, the reason why I just I heard Captain America and and all it says is the correct answer it says Civil War. Oh and I'm yeah, like, you got it wrong. I was looking for the, the Jeff Daniels classic Gettysburg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. By the way, I, yeah. I was sorry about good. that. Sorry good to score on that. You, you freaked me out there. Okay, I love yeah, Rose. I'm like, uh, what else is it? No. I am so happy Kaiser is not a part of this match. Oh, he... <laughs> <laughs> He's streaming from his television somewhere. Uh, Kevin, your next question. <laughs> Which MCU film involves an FBI agent named Jimmy Woo, played by Randall Park? Ant-Man and the Wasp. Sorry, looking for Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kevin gets that one. He's perfect through two questions here in the world of the MCU. Kevin, for two more points, including post credit scenes, in how many films has Nick Fury appeared in to date? And we're actually going to give you 30 seconds to answer this one. Big question here for the Inner Geekdom champ. Yeah. You don't need to give us, we just need the number. I'm going to have to go multiple choice. I just want to limit okay. it in case. 
I can provide that for These you. Are numbers, yeah. <clears throat> is it A, 11, B, 15, C, 8, or D, 16? Eleven. It's eleven. You have another point to your credit. Nice. So. I can move by the camp there. So good job. That's no point. Good fighting there. So let's go to the next question here, Mark. All right, Ooh. Kevin. Your last question. Two more points in the MCU, and this could bring your grand total of points to fifteen. Fourteen. If you right? Isn't it fourteen? Um, he's currently at it's thirteen right now. Points. Oh, he's 13, right? So, uh, sorry, go ahead. Two more, you're getting 15. You guys are guys telling answers that are right, that are wrong. You guys are all against me. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, right. your question Which character is the first to say the line, I love you 3000 in Avengers Endgame? Oh, Just breaking me my the heart. First one. That would be the adorable Morgan. That is correct for two nice. points. This is horrible Kevin Smith has 15 points. All right, so after that, now we have Dan sits at 11, has not gone yet. Roka has eight, has not gone yet. Alex Damon is in the last seven points. And Smith has 15. So the inner Geekdom champion pulls himself okay. just between two. All right, so now we, again, ask Dan if you would like to go or defer to John. I'm going to defer to John so he can spend biopics, apparently, <laughs> and, then, and, then I'll, and then it'll be me. Dude, you know uh, how my karma works. I probably won't spend anything that's positive that's in my category. So, okay, um, so how many John, do I have? Eight. You're going to give me a number, and then just okay. to refresh everybody's memory, I know we have a scoreboard here in post, uh, is that Alex is currently leading with 17 points. Kevin has 15. John, you have eight. So if you get uh, perfect round number two, you'll be in second place trailing out by one. Gotcha. Uh, I'll go with four. Four, and you have spun sports movie. Ooh. You know, it screwed me over many times, but I'm going to try again because I'm a glutton for punishment. Try buttons. again. Let's have some fun with some sport. If it's all little giants, I'm walking off the set, and I'm never coming back to the slowdown. So let's put it all there. Are you, are you ready, John? Yeah. Let's all see right. if you nerds can come up with sports movies. Let's I see. Agree. <laughs> all right. All right. First one. John Cena. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Here we go. Start. <laughs> Who plays Patty Conlon, the father of Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton's characters in 2011's Warrior? Nick Nolte. Two more points. All right, there you go. John, you're at 10, 10 points. That's your last question. <laughs> yeah, I wish. All right, question two. In Major League, what team... Do the Indians face in a one-game playoff for the AL pennant? The New York Yankees. That's right. And they win. Yes, they do. Okay. That's why it's movies. It's make-believe. <laughs> Question three. Question three. Who directed 1992's A League of Their Own? Penny Marshall. Two more points. John Roca now sees himself with 14 points, trying to get one point uh, ahead of Smets and one point just behind Alex. Here's your last question here, John. Who plays veteran player Ross the Boss in the 2011 hockey comedy Goon? Oh, God. oh my God. Christian, I love this movie. I loved it. Four, three. Ah, two. I'm going to take a chance. Sean William Scott. It's incorrect. So two point steal now. Everybody here has a chance to the two point steal. Got to ask first for Alex Damon to show your board on who you have. Gary Busey. Incorrect. But from you, and I wish that that was the actual cat, Kevin Smith. No, I didn't have to. He. I. That's fine. Don't worry. I didn't. I wouldn't have it. And Dan. I had the same guess that John did, so I don't know. <laughs> that's what I would have got. Yeah. Dean Schreiber. <laughs> Dean Schreiber is the answer. Well, that's what uh, I wrote actually. It's right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Broken miss to that one, and he sees himself down there. One underneath Smets, but Dan is still in last at the moment with 11 points. He has not gone yet. So, Dan Merle now has to choose between seven categories. Is that correct, uh, Mark? Um, yeah, Dan, you have seven categories. Do you want me to tell you what the categories are again? Uh, no, I think I've got them done here, so okay. I'm good. Uh, I will pick number five. Okay, for number five, you have spun biopics. Oh, 
I will respin. Okay. <laughs> and I will pick number uh, three. Okay, for number three, you have spun two thousands. Okay. All right. Can I get a score check real quick? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um. So Alex Damon is currently leading the field with 17 points, and then Kevin Smith has 15 points. John Roca one behind him with 14 points, and Dan, you currently have 11 points. So if you were to have a perfect round, you'd be uh, two points ahead of everybody else going into the last round. Thank you. All right. Here we go, Mark. Roger that. In the year 2000. Um. Dan, your first question, who played Sheriff Ed Tom Bell in No Country for Old Men? Tommy Lee Jones. Two points. No more points. All right, your next question, Dan. What female pop star was in the comedies The Perfect Man and Material Girls? Uh, multiple choice, please. Is it A, Britney Spears, B, Vanessa Hudgens, C, Hilary Duff, or D, Avril Lavigne? Hilary Duff. Both Christian Rubalcaba and Cody Hall would have gotten this because they love Lizzie McGuire. And yes, Hilary Duff is the correct answer. Damn it. There you go. Okay, so that's uh, one point for Dan. Three total so far in this round. Dan, your next question in the world of the 2000s. In Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which MCU actor plays technician Stan Fink, who has a relationship with the receptionist? Mark Ruffalo. I think uh, Christian might have written that one, and you are correct for two points. Two points. So Dan sees himself now one point, one point below Alex Damon here as he gets his last question. This is the good drama that we love here around the Schmodown. Dan, your last question in round number two for the lead going into round number three. What is the name of the fictional band that Mark Wahlberg's character gets the chance to sing for in the film Rockstar? Wow. Let's go right to multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, my brain's still a little foggy, but I, this is one that I did know. Is it A, Steel Panther, B, Monsters of Rock, C, Steel Dragon, or D, Maestro? I like the sound of Steel Panther. Let's go with Steel Panther. That is incorrect. For wow. a one point steal, I need every other competitor to write down your best attempt at an answer. I'm gonna give you your, your multiple choice options once again. Is it A, Steel Panther, B, Monsters of Rock, C, Steel Dragon, or D, Maestro? And five, four, three, two, one. We start with John Roca. Uh, Steel Dragon. Gonna hold that. Yes. Hold yeah, that's correct. Uh, Smet. Steel Dragon. We are nice. Steel Dragon. And now for the most important one right now, Alex Damon. What did you have? Steel Dragon. Damn, oh. there it is. Damon taking a two-point lead now over Dangerous Dan Merle. And that's the end, right? It's just yeah. two rounds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's the yeah, scores yeah. now? What's the right score? now, the score is Dangerous Dan Merle sits at 16, tied with Smets, Roka at 15, and the Star Wars champion, Alex wow. the Demon Damon, with 18 big points. Maps of math of development here, Mark, as we get to the third and final round. How's that go? That's right, gentlemen. In the third round, this will decide the outcome of the match unless we go into a sudden death, multiple choice, whatever the hell we do for overtime format in exhibition matches. Let's just worry about round number three. You each are going to give us three numbers. These numbers can range from one to 12. So as soon as you give us your numbers, those are going to correspond to a different category of movie trivia, showdown, know-how. Your first question's worth two points. Your next one's worth three points. The last one should we make it that far is worth five big points. There is no stealing. There is no penalty for missing a question in round number three. And Alex, I know you wanted to end the match after round number two. Unfortunately, you didn't play round three, but at least I can give you the honor of giving us your three preferred numbers first. What feels lucky, sir? Uh, we will go 11, three, and eight. 11, three, and eight for the Star Wars champ. Now we ask Dangerous Dan Merle. I'll take one, 16, and four. 
and 16 and 4 for Dan Merle, Kevin Spence. Is there a 16? Because I thought it was 12. Am I wrong? Okay. Uh, Mark, how many are there? 12. There's only 12. Sorry about that. Oh, there's only uh, sorry. So, My apologies. So I'll take one, uh, four, and nine. One, four, and nine for Dan yeah. Merle. Okay. And then back to Smets. I'll go two. I'll go seven and 12. Two, seven, and okay. 12 for the IG champ. And finally, Roka. Well, I guess whatever three are left, right? Because there's 12 and there's four of us. Yeah, so Roka, you're going to get five. Okay. You're going to get six, and you're going to get 10. Okay. All right, so do you want them in that order, John? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. All right. So we actually start with John Roka, who gets, gives himself a chance to get out of the hole here with number five. Question number five, John. Uh, you. Oh, I don't write. That's right. I'm sorry. No. So you chose for 1990s. 1990s. Now, here you go. Which blockbuster released in the year 1990 has the main character named Kevin McAllister? Oh, Home Alone. Two points for John Rocco, who takes himself to 17 points and bounces to now Kevin Smith. Okay, okay, Kevin. You oh, yeah. sorry, not Kevin Dan, Dan Merle. Dan, Merle. Uh, Dan, we'll go to you next. You selected number one for your two-point question, and that corresponds to the world of the Oscars. Mm. Uh, uh. And your question. For two points, Daniel Kaluuya received a Best Actor nomination for what 2017 film? Get Out. Two more points for Dan Merle. Oh, I thought you were giving me instructions. <laughs> Get Out. Soon. <laughs> All right, so now we get to Kevin Smets. And Kevin chose category number two. All right, Kevin. Not the with you today, my man. You got MCU. Jesus. <laughs> and so I, uh, here we go. So just answer quick so we can get on to the next one. <laughs> In the MCU, who plays Bucky Barnes, a.k.a. Winter Soldier? Sebastian Stan. Oh. All right. So now... Yeah. Now we jump actually back to Roka, who needs to get his three pointer. How many repeats do we do? We still get the three repeats, just the in case. Three PTs, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we have um, we have category number six, mm -hmm. six for John Roka. Number six, John, action adventure. Oh, okay. Here you go. Jesse T. Usher co-stars in what 2019 franchise reboot as the son of a famous P.I.? Five, four, three, two. Repeat. First one. Jesse T. Usher co-stars in what 2019 franchise reboot as the son of a famous P.I.? Shaft. That's right. Three more points. That's I, right. I was confused because I knew there was the other one, and I didn't know if they titled it the same. Okay. You know, you got it right. You don't have to explain. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was freaking out in my head. Over. <laughs> now, now we actually get to Alex Damon because we have a three-way tie here on eighteen. So that's right. So currently, John Roke is actually winning, but he's already <laughs> answered two questions. Uh, Alex Damon, you are going to have to borrow a little bit of knowledge that might be in John Roke's noggin because for your two-point question you selected number 11 and that corresponds to biopics damn it cool 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 cool. yeah all right and your question is bradley cooper plays real life navy seal chris kyle in which film american sniper yeah two point good job good job all right so now alex sees himself tied with john roca and now we go back to kevin smetz who has to answer his three-pointer. All right, Kevin. You selected number seven for your three-point question, and that corresponds to uh, another inner geekdom favorite, the world of DC movies. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> DC. How's this happening? I thought these guys were supposed to be at a disadvantage in this Yeah, movie. right? <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what they said. Uh, despite Roka's protest, the character of Jesus does not appear in the world of DC movies. <laughs> so says you. Uh, although there are a lot of Greek gods. Um, he, he's everywhere. Kevin, your question for three points. 
Who plays Carol Ferris opposite Ryan Reynolds' Hal Jordan in the film Green Lantern? Blake Lively. Three points for Mr. Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith sees himself now with the lead as he is now in the lead 21 to Alec Damon's 20, Roka's 20, but Dan Merle needs to hit his three-pointer to tie Kevin Smith's. Dan Merle, you chose number four. Number four, John Roca is sitting right next to you, but he can't help you out with Westerns. Oh, come uh -oh. on! <laughs> That's the highest. All right, here we go, Westerns. In what film does Dennis Quaid play the famous gunslinger Doc Holliday? <laughs> Wyatt Earp. Yeah. Three points. One more now. Get up there. With a lead. And Alex Damon will now have to hit his three pointer. The three pointer. That's right. Alex, um, you currently are trailing two competitors by a point, but you're the last one to answer your three point question. And that question comes in the world of the 2000s. And your query is to regain the lead. Who stars as Monty Brogan, convicted New York drug dealer who has 24 remaining hours before facing a jail term in the film 25th Hour? Hmm. Five, four, three. David Morse. Incorrect, we're looking for Edward Norton. All right. Not Wait, what an interesting, what an interesting turn of events now because both Roca and Alex are are tied, but so are Smets and Dan. So we're actually going to stay with Alex on his five pointer. We'll stay with right. on his five pointer who needs to hit this. Come with, on, Star Wars. He will be knocked out by Smets, and then Roca will answer his five. So Alex Damon has to hit his five to stay in the game. All right, Alex, you selected number eight. At which category were you hoping to get? It's one of the stars, Trek, Wars, ah, whatever. Okay, well, there's a lot of stars in the world of sports. <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. Oh, damn. All right, let's do this. Okay. You'll find the sport of pod racing in what movie? No, I'm <laughs> So, Alex, just to reset the rules here, you currently trail two competitors by one, but if you get this right, you are clear by four points of your nearest competitor for the moment. So in the world of sports, to stay alive, your five-point question is, who plays Clifford Franklin, a stock boy in a mini-mart who can outrun anyone but can barely catch anything in the film The Replacements? Orlando Jones. He got wow. it. Wow. <laughs> the Star Wars champ. What a move there. Nice, Alex. 25 points. Thanks. Alex puts himself right in position to win this match. So now Roca is challenged to tie. He's got to tie Alex Damon. He needs to hit this five pointer. John Roca, your category with category number 10, John. Category number 10. Middle Earth. Oh, no way! <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Middle Earth. I'll trade is... you. I'll trade you, Roka. <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to answer this correctly. <laughs> this is Middle Earth. You can do this, Roka, I believe. Make it easy. Make it easy. British comedian Barry Humphreys portrays what type of creature in the Hobbit films? Final answer? No. Two JTE rules remaining. Five. Four. Oh, I wanted that question. Three. <laughs> Damn, Damon. Uh, repeat, repeat. Stop talking! Second one, second one. Stop talking, please. Here you go. British comedian Barry Humphreys portrays what type of creature in the Hobbit films? This is my last repeat. You have one more. Okay. Five. Four, three, two. Repeat. British comedian Barry Humphreys portrays what type of creature in the Hobbit films? I have to answer on this. And five, four, three, two. I don't know, a goblin. 
Correct. I quit. I can't do better than that. I, and thank you, slow down. Thank. I quit. I retire right there. No, 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 no way. That's right. Twenty-five. Oh, God. That's twenty-five. So he's not out. He saved himself. He saved himself. Wow. No well, way. He now, saved Rob. himself. But Kevin Smets has the opportunity yeah. here to knock out both Alex and Roca ah. with this five pointer. If Al, if if Smets hits the five pointer, he's knocked out Alex and Roca, and he'll go one on one against Dan. However, if he misses, Roca and Alex will be waiting for Dan's five pointer. What a match it is, Mark. And. Kevin, and Christian, let's just take a moment to appreciate the fact that John Roca, he uttered the Lord's name in vain three times and it paid off. <laughs> he helped him. All right. So Kevin Smith, John, uh, excuse me, Ellis, Kevin Smith's coach 12. All right, Kevin, you can knock out two fearsome competitors with one single blow from your mighty saber. If you get this question correct, this is your five point question. And it comes in the category of, let me make sure I'm reading this correctly, Star Wars. Don't oh, shoot me man. with my own gun. My own like gun. Look at this. Look at look. How ironic would it be <laughs> if Matt knocked out Damon with a Star Wars question? Oh my yeah, God. But, hey, Christian, I have to correct Alex. They're not actually guns in Star Wars. They're called blasters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. Make sure it's equally as hard, please. <laughs> uh, Kevin, your question. If you get it right, you only have to worry about Dan. If you miss it, you're out of the contest. The actor Phil Brown portrayed which character in the Skywalker saga? This is ironic. This is ironic, and I'll tell a story because I know the answer. Robert Parker eliminated me in the fan league because I didn't know this answer. Oh. Phil, Bla Phil Brown plays Uncle Owen. That is correct. Oh, Alex Damon and Roca have been eliminated. Kevin, wow. the inner season champion, <laughs> takes yeah. out both John Roca and the Star Wars champion with a Star oh, Wars question. I, I can't be mad. I can't. No, that's a hard one. Yeah, that was a hard one. <laughs> now I got. Now I got to do this to you for now. I'll, I'll get you back in a second. But for now, all right, guys. So here we go. Here is where we stand. Dan Merle. If he hits it, it's a tie game and we go to sudden death. However, if he misses it, Kevin Smets, the inner geekdom champion, will win. Here is the question. Here we go. Dan, you chose category number nine. Category number nine, comedies. Comedies. Here you go, Dan. Who plays Carl Laszlo? Esquire, Hunter S. Thompson's former attorney and friend in Where the Buffalo Roam. And five, four, three, two. I am Bill Murray. I don't know. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the inner kingdom champion of the world. Kevin Smets. Wow. Game Merle comes back. Unbelievable. Guys, that was a hell of a match. I gotta tell you, all the way around. Dan, go ahead. Can I can I just say it's only fair to put the IG and Star Wars categories in this fight if people other than the guys that play in those leagues. <laughs> <laughs> but the strength, I mean that's what everybody everybody thought kind of going into this thing that you guys are gonna have the clear cut advantage because you know, as if there were any other questions. But the funny thing is that actually kind of proved true with Damon because Damon had a nice little lead and then something happened there and he found himself getting knocked out. What a comeback it was. Roca hitting that amazing mm. question at the end there. Dan having the perfect round the first round. That was everything we wanted it to be, Mark. Yeah, Christian, it, it was really fun to watch the four competitors because you would ask a question, particularly in round two and round three, to a particular competitor and then 
you could see at least two of the opponents knew the answer right away. And it was a matter of like keeping that knowledge at bay. And I got to tell you, all credit in the world goes to Kevin, the Smasher Smets. But the moment of the match to me was John Roca uh, just invoking his inner Josh McCougas <laughs> power and coming up with Goblin out of thin air. That was really brilliant. Yeah, I get that Goblin question. Come on, John, we're teammates. Can we switch? Can we retroactively switch? <laughs> Absolutely. I, knew, I totally knew Peter Boyle. So, yes, let's switch. Oh, right. you know. okay, John and I switch questions, and then it'll be like a, like a sudden death thing. 100%. But look at this final score here. You got Dan, 21, Roka, 25, Alex, 25, Smets, 26. With the final, what a crazy battle it was. The Battle Bowl of the Champions. What a great battle. I mean, that was great. Every every one of the competitors did something in their strength. And you saw it. Like, Dan hits the, the, the 9, the, or excuse me, the 11 points up top. Roka doing what Roka does with that super, the super guest and gets it. Damon able to hit those questions out of nowhere. The Star Wars questions, perfect round and two. And then Smets hitting the, the Star Wars question, the great question at the end in the fan leagues question that Robert Parker beat him with to take out Dan Merle. What an incredible match that was. Yeah, and, and Christian, you know, one thinks of the summer of 1992 when the Dream Team, the basketball powerhouse, went to Monte Carlo and just practiced against each other to warm up for the Olympics. This is what this felt like here today. You have all-stars who are playing in an exhibition, but they're not going to back down because they all want to protect their corner of movie trivia schmodown. And if, if I could just start with Kevin, and then we'll go to Dan, and then John and Alex, real quick, did you feel rusty? Did did you feel like you were a little out of shape given the circumstances that we're all currently living under? Uh, no, I didn't feel rusty because uh, I explained on backstage I've been kind of doing a, a build because th these matches, I had New York and then that got taken and then Tampa and it was moved and then Houston. So I've been kind of keeping up on my IG. The strategy going in today literally was, mm -hmm. and you could not have planned it perfect for me. I was like, K Kaiser for bait, he was like, do not study anything singles. I really wanted to dust off IMDB. And the, the strategy was shore up on what you're strong at and basically hope for luck that you get your strengths and that in the uh, questions from singles that there'll be movies that you know. And so I was hoping that I would get 50%, 60% of the singles questions that would keep me in the fight and then hopefully get my my strengths. And um, the, the round three, just the luck I had, look, it's, it's luck when it comes down to it, at the, I got three of my strengths which allowed me to do a perfect round three. And, but that was literally it. It was do not study anything singles, uh, focus on your strengths and hope that luck goes your way and you get all your strengths, which I did. Cause it, even if it goes half of that, even if I get, you know, two out of three in the third, third round, maybe my five pointers on a movie I haven't seen. And again, I didn't study for singles. So uh, everything went my way today. And that is why, I mean, it was an honor to be against these guys. And it took all of the luck in the world to dethrone the three guys under me right here. Like, honestly, like I cannot believe it went as it did for me. That was literally textbook what we wanted and hoped that would happen. It's crazy. And I thought I had that five pointer till you said where the Buffalo roam. And then I was like, oh, well, I know the answer to that question for a different movie. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, I'm, I'm freshest, I guess. Well, D uh, Alex and I played last on the same night. Uh, and then John has, well, you, you played before us. So yeah, I guess I've, Alex and I played the most recently, but this is a different vibe. I gotta say, I'm not used to doing it in these, these surroundings. Uh, in some ways it's more pressure. In some ways it's less pressure, but mm. I will say I was happy to sort of, it was a, even if I wasn't answering the questions, uh, it was nice to hear a lot of those IG questions. And um, without giving away too much, I'll say that I was fairly happy with how I did on the ones that were presented. So, um, you know, uh, it was, it was also a nice uh, experience for me to get some of that under my belt as well. Uh, John? Yeah, look, clearly I'm ready for IG. So let's set that up right now. Uh, I'm ready to go for the belt with Dan right next to him. Uh, no, Jesus Christ. Look, I, I'm lucky uh, to have gotten that goblin thing, kept me going. Almost won this thing. Could have won it with that poll, which would have been a miracle considering I missed land uh, before time, which I'll, I'll take to my uh, shame, everlasting shame. Uh, but, you know, Goon's a tough movie. I've never seen it. So I only knew Sean William Scott, and I've learned in the game, you might as well take a chance and guess the only actor you know or actress you know from a movie and see if it works out. Didn't work out that time, but no one stole it. So I still had a chance to go and do this thing. But look, it's an honor to play these guys. I'm rusty as hell. I didn't study a bit for this thing. So uh, I, I'm just happy to be in contention all the way at the end. That's all I really wanted because you never know in the game how it's going to turn out for you. And you never know if you can pull something luckily uh, out there to win a game. So I'm just happy to be there. Congratulations to Smets. 
but I got what I needed, uh, or I got what I came for, and that is Damon's ass because I got a bubble. So. <laughs> well, there he is. Speaking of, speaking of Damon's ass, he is right there. Damon, you play really, really good, man. You got yourself yeah. to uh, 25 points there and hit Star Wars in that second round. How are you feeling about the match? Uh, well, first of all, it's just so nice to be able to do two matches in a row from Atlanta. Like, this is so <laughs> great for me. Uh, yeah, the force was definitely with me in round two. I mean, I, I was going into this just like, I'm going to have as much fun as I can. I want to try to go to the distance with these guys. Uh, I, But I'm, I can't be happier with what I did. I mean, I got a sports question right. Like... <laughs> It, I, I I got lucky as well, and I'm just glad that I made it to to the end. It was really nice to see all the way around, guys. You, it was it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. You showed why you're all the the best in the game right now. The 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 champions coming to play like champions. I mean, it it, it was all the way through. You saw what has made you guys champions from the beginning. Was kept you in there, and really looking forward to the potential of what could come out of this. Whether it's Maybe who knows? Maybe down the line you see the Smasher versus the Demon in a in a Star Wars match. Maybe you see the Demon versus the Smasher in an Inner Geekdom Hell. Maybe you see Dangerous Dan and the Smasher in IG. And maybe Roka will get a chance to go up against Alex Damon one of these days. Who knows? But this is this is very fun. I, I cannot thank you guys enough for joining us here today. Uh, excited I, for me as a fan of this thing as much as anybody else to watch all you guys compete today in that way and have so much fun. Thank you very much. And thank you to the fans for, for doing this. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to let you all go and Mark and I will wrap up. But once again, thank you to Dangerous Dan. Thank you to the Outlaw. Thank you to the Demon. And thank you to the Smasher. We will see you guys very soon. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank, thank you. you. So, Mark, this was uh, this was something awesome, dude. This was this yeah, was dude. fun. Christian, it's always nice to see our friends who are competitors who happen to be some of the top competitors in the league and actually champions of their respective leagues. But I think that the takeaway for everybody watching this is twofold. Uh, number one, you never know what's going to happen in round three, and you never know what piece of knowledge that you might not thought you had that you can pull at the last second, like what we saw with the John Roca in his five-pointer for round three. And number two, and this is really the most important thing, See Goon. It's a really underrated it's really sport. Good. It's really if you good. Have some free time, and, and who doesn't these days? If you get two hours, watch Goon. You're not going to be disappointed. Well, and you're not going to be disappointed because we have so many great Look at you. So many great matches. The amount of exhibition matches that we have. This is just the first one. This is the first one that we've done. We have so many, I, and I can't name all of them, but I'll name a few. We have Perry Nemiroff, who will be defending her Jurassic Park title. That's going to be happening, and her new releases title. You also have uh, the new release, excuse me, not new release, the movie release belt will be back on the line between Mance and Bateman. Um, I mean, the romantic comedy, Janine the Machine, Video Drew, uh brianne chandler so much happening in i got one i got one for you are you ready for this one him. Are you ready? this is the one that when we brought it up to mayor goldie wilson he said i yeah. like the sound yeah. of that yeah. back to the future back to the future the james bond is finally happening the james bond match between emma fife uh mike kalinowski tim franco and brad gilmore there's going to be a horror match there's so much there's so much that we have, and I cannot wait for all of you to see it. If this, if this was just a taste, this was just a taste of what you're going to see, and this started the whole damn thing off. I'm excited. I can't wait. This is a little like mini league that we're going to have uh, while we're waiting for other things to happen. But I can't thank Alex Damon enough. I can't thank the Smasher enough, Dangerous Dan, and John Roca for making this happen today. It was a lot of fun, Mark. Yeah, Christian, and uh, it is a huge thank you to all of our fans watching and everybody working hard for us behind the scenes. We know that you've been patient with us as we've gotten our footing in this new strange world that we're all existing in, but now we feel comfortable, especially after today's match. I think it's a huge confidence boon that we can get you more matches like this. So you have a lot of cool stuff that we can announce and some things that we haven't quite announced yet to be looking forward to in the world of the Schmodown. All right, so for the mark, the baby, the carrots, Mark Ellis. I am Christian Harloff. Thank you guys for all the patrons out there who are subscribed here to this tier that were able to see this match today. Thank you for keeping us afloat, and we hope that we keep you afloat with all the entertainment. So, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.